Adi ho, what up, fishing friends? <clears throat> How is everybody doing tonight? Uh, missile baits fishing kits. Mason, fat guy, John, how you guys doing? Patty in the house, Jeff Lauer, the musician. Hey, John and Corey, how you guys doing? <clears throat> Happy to have you on tonight. Um, Grandpa Woody. Matthew, Brian. All right, so uh, tonight I'm going to go through the three missile baits fishing kits that I own. And uh, we'll give one of those away tonight. Um, hey, Mason, Fisherman83. The You guys know that watch the channel for any length of time. Know that I am a sucker for a good fishing kit. Excuse me. In fact, I'm a sucker for a bad fishing kit. And I bought plenty of them. But I bought some good ones too. And uh, LG, Adam, how's it going? Bass and bass box and outdoors. So <laughs> tonight, uh, I'm going to show you what these missile baits fishing kits are all about. Um, some great kits out there that I have tried. I feel like I've tried tons of them, but the 10,000 fish fishing kit, this is a great one. The Biospawn fishing kit. I think this is one of the best deals out there, the Biospawn kit. Um, the uh, Guggen Squad go-to kits are really good. They're, they, they, in fact, they got a lot of kits. The, the go-to one is the one that I bought recently, and I really liked it. I did a video on that. I even like stuff like this. Cream Lures does these book kits. I've shown these to you guys. I give these away. They make a Texas rig kit. They make a Carolina rig kit. And this is perfect, especially for youngsters or people just getting started in fishing. It shows how to rig Texas rigs. It shows types of baits that you can use. Um, it provides the baits. And then it gives detailed instructions on how to Texas rig. It gives you the hooks. It gives you the weights. I mean, they're lead weights, but they're still... They still work. And this thing is just great uh, for somebody that I don't know how to Texas rig. Well, you can watch on YouTube, but you can just buy you a Texas rig kit and learn it this way, too. These things are cheap. But <clears throat> while Gil, how's it going? The missile baits fishing kits are not cheap. And uh, I thought I would. Uh, just mention that uh, first off, uh, I I first heard about their missile baits, the missile baits fishing kits about a year ago. And if you go to their website, I'll share my screen with you guys. Yeah, Bruce, throw that little cream kit in the glove box. And if you carry a rod in the trunk or something, you can go fishing anytime. You don't even need a tackle box. And to tell you the truth, uh, the Carolina rig kit's just as good. This thing has brush hogs, basically, ribbon tail worms, lizards, and trick worms all in here. I mean, you can get a lot of fishing out of this one little kit. There's no, no lie. It's got three EWG hooks and three different weights. All you need is a rod and a reel, and you're, and you're ready to go. Uh, yeah, the D-bomb is missile baits, Frank. You're right. Uh, all right. So I'm going to share with you, I'm going to share my screen with you for a second so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I will actually show you the contents of these kits. Now you can see here, the missile baits kits are $50. That's right, $50. And if you look over on the left top in this red banner, it says $60 orders or more get free shipping. 
which means if you go on Missilebait's website here, missilebaits.com, and buy only one kit for $50, you've also got to pay shipping on it. So <laughs> definitely not cheap. So are they worth it? Well, that's going to be up to you to decide. I'm going to show you on the website here too uh, how many kits they have. They have a flipping kit, punching kit, tidal river kit, offshore structure kit, power drop shot kit, Nico rig kit, Tokyo rig kit, finesse drop shot kit, pond fishing kit, and Ned rig kit. <clears throat> All of them are 50 bucks each, $49.99. So... Either way, they make you spend the 60 bucks. <laughs> All right. Matthew, how's it going? Bruce, Chris, Josh. So, Patty's already said what some of you are probably thinking. I'll take my 50 bucks and buy stuff on Tackle Warehouse. Well, <coughs> that's always an option, too. Where I think kits come in really handy is for... <laughs> lazy people like myself that's one uh or a newbie say you're brand new to fishing or you're comfortable fishing one technique but you know nothing about the tokyo rig right and you kind of say to yourself well i'd like to get into tokyo rig fishing but uh you just think to yourself, it'd be so much simpler if all I had to do is buy a Tokyo rig kit and literally everything that I need is in here. All right? So let's see what they put in the Tokyo rig kit. Now, uh, in case you don't know what a Tokyo rig is, they actually give you an instruction card in here, which I like. The Tokyo rig kit. And it gives you details on it, where it came from, what it's about, how to rig it. And they give you, on the other side of the card, a detail of how to rig it. And then you can even scan me for a video of how to rig it if you need video help. So <laughs> one thing I got to hand it to John Cruz and Missile Bates They've tried to make this thorough, right? They've tried to say, we're going to help you in words, in pictures, and even in a video. So that's extra service that you don't get from a lot of, a lot of these pre-made kits. $50 to make you holla. All right. So... The first thing you need to make a Tokyo rig, <laughs> you need a Tokyo rig hook. And they give you two different packs. They give you the EWG hooks in 3 aught and the worm style hook in 4 aught. Uh there's only, it's weird. There says there's two hooks in this pack, but I only see one, one hook. It must have fallen out. Uh, and then this one says there's two, and there's definitely two EWG style hooks. So you've got your, you got, then these are pricey. So to have two packs is nice. And then they give you the weights. <coughs> for the kit and uh, you've got bullet weights and a cylinder weight. And I've started, I started throwing uh, my Tokyo rigs with the bullets and I have since switched to the cylinder weights and I like those better. There's actually five weights of different sizes in here, which is good. <clears throat> uh so that's the terminal tackle that comes in the in the kit. 
And then if you think about it, what else would they include in a Tokyo rig kit other than soft plastic? So that's that's what you get here. Now, you get one, two, three, four, five packs of soft plastics. But <laughs> when you really boil it down, four of these packs all have something in common. <laughs> quiver, 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 quiver. You've got two packs of four and a half inch quiver worms. That's what it is. It's a worm. And two packs of six and a half inch quiver worms. I was a little disappointed. Dropped one. I was a little disappointed that they put four packs of worms in here. Uh, <laughs> seems like overkill to me. Um... <laughs> yeah. Uh that's my side job. Uh I do a little I do a little bit of Carl cameos every once in a while. So, let me show you the quiver worm in case you've never seen it. It has a little quivering tail on it, which is nice and I think probably very effective on the Tokyo rig. This worm would also work fine on a shaky head. You could you could fish this a lot of different ways on a Ned rig. But uh, that's the Bama Craw color. We looked at a Bama Craw bait last night. I think it was the Trigger Craws. So that's one pack, four and a half inch. And then they have the Super Bug color. Missile Baits does have some nice colors, got to, got to admit. Hummingbird Ice 45 Flasher. Wow. Good for you, George. This color here is a laminate green pumpkin. And it looks like either June Bug or black and blue on the other side. Can you see that? That covers colors called Super Bug. So two packs of the Shorter Worm. And two packs of the longer worm. <laughs> what I fish mostly on a Tokyo rig is a crawdad bait, like a rage craw. Um, I don't Tokyo rig worms a lot. Doesn't mean you can't do it because you absolutely can. Here's a bigger quiver worm. This is a nice color too. It's called watermelon candy red i like this color a lot like i said missile baits soft plastics are are really nice really nice yeah matthew uh that's kind of the question what do you think is this thing worth 50 dollars uh, then they got a gym bug quiver i'm not going to take it out and then they have one pack of the baby destroyer this is uh the one bait in the bag that i would probably put on a tokyo rig before i would any of those four packs of worms steve in the house what up steve chapman uh this of course the d-bomb is kind of, in my head anyway, the way Missile Baits got started. Their D-bomb, which is kind of like this, where it's a beaver bait with some flappers on the bottom. But this is the Baby Destroyer. It's taken like a D-bomb body and put a little couple of squigglies on there. And to me, this is the bait in the pack that I would fish first on the Tokyo Rig kit. <laughs> So, that's it. Tokyo Rig Kit. In a nutshell, is that worth $50? What do you think? Got your card. Got your terminal tackle. 
four packs of worms. Yeah, now I haven't priced this stuff up individually. What I will tell you though, let me run over to Tackle Warehouse real quick because the those Tokyo Rig uh, VMC uh, hooks are not cheap. Here we go, right here. Uh, if you go with a three aught two pack, three seventy nine for a pack. So they're actually cheaper than I thought they were. Three seventy nine for your pack of hooks. Three seventy nine times two. Where's my calculator? Right here. 379 times two. We can figure this up real quick. Heck, why don't we? See if what a quiver worm goes for. All right. The quiver costs 469. Okay. Hmm. All right, so far, that is $26. I just got to write this down so I don't forget. $26.34. Let me look at the <coughs> destroyer. All right, the baby destroyer costs $5.69. All right, and then you've got some weights, bullet weights. Uh, I'd have to say six bucks max on that. All right, uh, huh? <laughs> wonder, uh, wonder if I left something on in that kit. Maybe I took it out because uh, I've had it for a while. Seems like I don't want to misrepresent them. Let me go and look at their Tokyo Rig kit and see what they say is in here and make sure. Dude, that's it. And uh, a missile bait sticker. I forgot about the missile bait sticker, which you know is worth zero. This kit retails for $38.03. Holy crap. So... <laughs> uh, wah, wah, wah. Hey, these missile baits are awesome. They're great products, but that's disappointing, man. 38 bucks. Uh, you could say, well, is the free video and picture card in the kit, is that worth $11? $11 for a John Cruz video on how to rig a Tokyo rig? Hmm. Uh, that ain't a deal, is it? That is not a deal. All right. But hey, one of these other kits might be a killer. We better check it out. <laughs> How about the flipping kit by Derek Hudnall? Derek Hudnall is a pro sponsored by Missile Bates. There's your card. Flipping is a great way to catch bass anywhere in the country. So he gives you, look at this, he gives you uh, rod reel, uh, 20 to 25 pound test fluorocarbon, talks about braid. Then he gives you five steps to rig up your flipping baits. And then he tells you how to fish it. And then, of course, a picture card and a video scan me if you want to get video instructions. So will <laughs> the flipping kit be any better? Now, what I should have done, see, this is a sloppy, sloppy showmanship here, but I should have just double checked the contents of my kits and make sure I didn't remove anything because I'm missing stuff in this kit. Shame on me 
bad, bad deal. So <laughs> I'm just going to have to tell you what I missed. And uh, that's, that's a very sloppy showmanship. I do have all the baits in here, no problem. The weights I do not have in here, so I'll just tell you what weights they have. They have a half ounce river to sea flipping weight and a one ounce river to sea flipping weight. Uh, not half ounce, sorry. A one and a half ounce and a one ounce. They have one pack of bobber stops, which means 10 bobber stops. And they have one pack of five aught flipping hooks. All right, so you got you got a pack of flipping hooks, four hooks. You got a pack of bobber stops, and you got two weights, two punching weights. All right, now let's look at the actual baits themselves. I'm missing twenty bucks of extra lures. All right, uh, I like this one, uh, the Crawfather. <clears throat> It's a little crawdad bait. This is a cool color, Wicked Craw. What up, Robin? Uh, <coughs> no, I do not have a bandit, a bandit hanging back there. I don't stunt. Those are mostly uh, wiggle warts, old Rapala, pre-Rapala wiggle warts. Check out this color. This color to me is very cool. I like it a lot. This color is called, what I tell you guys, it's called Wicked Craw. A seven pack of these Wicked Craws. This is a very slender profile, and for flipping, I think it would make a nice flipping bait. So there's the Craw Father, all right? And guess what? There is two more packs of Crawfathers. There's a green pumpkin. I'm not going to show you the green pumpkin, but I will show you the super bug. I showed you the same color in the quiver, but let's see what a Crawfather looks. Yeah, it does look a lot like a speed craw. <clears throat> Especially the body, you know, the the. The claws themselves don't really look like the speed craw, but the body looks a lot like a speed craw. So three packs of the craw father. Um, one thing about missile baits too is they they all have a little bit of slime coat on them. Some like that, some don't. Here's the bait in my mind that uh, made missile baits famous. The D bomb, a great flipping bait. You should definitely have a D bomb or two in your tackle box. Uh, man, it just has it, all these ribs make the D bomb, I think, move water in a way that's different than the beaver. Uh, and it's just a great overall profile. It's beefy enough that it holds your hook well. Uh, they last well, um, and if you really need to get even into tight, tight stuff, you can break off these two little, whatever you want to call them, antenna. That's the D-bomb. They're great, bait. That is Black Red Flake. Two packs of D-bombs. All right. So... Green pumpkin red is the other D-bomb color. I'll show you that. And while you're talking amongst yourselves, I will add up the contents and show you what the value should be for this Missile Baits flipping kit. So they're, they're charging you quite a bit of money for the plastic bag. To put all these in and for the video card i'm guessing they're charging you for the video production and uh the photography for the card but i'm 
I was really surprised at that Tokyo rig kit, man. There is no deal there at all, is there? Uh, kind of shocking. Yeah, really shocking. All right. Uh, the D-bomb you can also get as a baby. And the baby's pretty, pretty awesome. All right, so I got the D-bombs in the pricing apparatus. <laughs> Let me find the craw father. All right, we'll do that. All right, so the soft plastics <laughs> are going to cost $23.45. Um, let me price up those amazing bobber stops, sinker stops, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they are a whopping dollar 49. Uh, then, um, flipping hook. <laughs> The flipping hook. Uh, let me, I'll find an expensive flipping hook. $7.99. Uh, that's way too high. Uh, I'll take two bucks off. I'll put $5.99 in for the flipping hooks. They are stout flipping hooks. And let's do. The weights, the river, river to sea trash bombs are what they have in the pack, and they are pricey. Uh, let's see, river to sea, yeah. Uh, the trash bomb is ten dollars per weight. Holy moly. So that totals $50.91 when you figure those insanely expensive River to Sea trash bombs. And I want to see if it's, yeah, it is the River to Sea trash bomb. So that's the, that's the weight they use. So you get $50 worth of product for $50. Uh, so, not uh, not nearly as shocking as the Tokyo rig. Oh wait, I must have missed one more pack of bruiser of a uh, of D bombs in the bruiser color. <laughs> so that adds another. This is over fifty bucks now. Wow, so we're making some progress here. Um, add the, that another four sixty nine, and you're at fifty five dollars for the flipping kit. So you actually save five dollars by buying the flipping kit, and you get this amazing video card in there for free. All right, what do you guys think? Does that seem a little more palatable? A little better deal or or not? Uh, Got to refill my cup here. Missile needs to come back to Ohio. Must be diamond studded weight. $10 for one flipping weight. Uh, you're right. It must be lined with something because I've got uh, a lot of flipping weights and I don't think I would ever pay $9.99 for a single flipping weight. <laughs> I mean, tungsten, every company under the sun sells tungsten now too. So those tungsten prices have gone way down. So how, 
how river to sea can still who's buying those things have we got any like professional flippers on with us tonight that could tell us what's so special about the river to sea um trash bombs what what am i missing there maybe there's something super secret about about those bad boys all right to me this uh seemed like a great idea the pond fishing kit because uh, if you're new to fishing and you just fish in the farm pond or in your neighbor's pond or the golf course pond you just want to start getting into fishing what better than to get a Missile Baits Pond Fishing Kit uh, by John Cruz himself? That's got to be that's got to be a deal, right? Well, Texas Huntsman, I hate to say this, but what's so special about River to Sea's name? I mean, granted, there's some things River to Sea makes that I absolutely love: the Whopper Plopper, the S Waver. They they got some great stuff. But putting River to Sea's name on a bullet weight does not bring any value to it at all. All right, Illuminathan says that there is a line protector in the weight. Okay. That's just a plastic tube, if anybody was wondering. But, uh, yeah, maybe... Maybe. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let me um, let me go into the pond fishing kit. Again, you've got a great instruction card for those of you that like to read. For those of you that like pictures, and you also can scan for a video. All right. So <laughs> I'll do the terminal tackle here first, if I can find it. I know it's in here because I saw it. There it is. All right. A pack of six Gamagatsu tournament grade Stinger hooks. Um, a fine worm hook. Gamagatsu makes good stuff. And a pack of 132nd ounce Nico worm weights. All right. Uh, is there any other weights in this package? I thought they might possibly put a um, a little bullet weight pack in there, but no. That's it. That's all you're going to get as far as terminal tackle goes. That's a little skimpy, I think. Uh, I guess I better keep these out so I can price them up. You get an original Chatterbait Elite, 3 8 ounce, and this is bluegill color. I'd say this is a very good choice. Uh, if you're going to f go pond fishing, if you're going to fish lakes, hey, no matter where you fish for bass, you should have a chatterbait. And the chatterbait elite is a little, it's kind of a notch above the basic original chatterbait. Um, Yeah, you're probably right, Patrick. If you know what you're looking for, you can absolutely take the 40 bucks that you would spend on any kind of a box and do better. <laughs> Especially if you look around for deals like Carl's Club, right? If you like those dollar, those dollar uh, exopods I was showing you guys yesterday, man. Jeez. For 50 bucks, you could have gotten 50 packs of those. Fishing with Trenton, how's it going? All right, there's one, two, three, four, 
five packs of soft plastics in here. There is one, two, two of the 48 worm packs, two of the quivers, <laughs> and one shockwave. Okay, let's start with the shockwave. The Shockwave 3.5 in shrapnel color is a little swim bait, three and a half inch swim bait. Uh, Steve, I don't uh, disagree with you. The Elite uh, is a great chatter bait, but if you're fishing ponds, especially around a lot of timber, that cross eyes is weedless and so not a bad deal. Let me show you though, if you've never seen the missile baits. <clears throat> shockwave it's a nice little swim bait it's very thin so that's something uh to consider it has a nice hook slot in it but they don't give you any jig heads or anything to fish it with unfortunately and i would not trust uh i would not use these stinger hooks for that so that's disappointing that they give you this bait and you really don't have any way to rig it. You're going to have to go buy something separate. And I like to think that when you put a kit together and you call it the pond fishing kit, that anything you put in here, you could go and fish with right away without having to buy any more stuff. That just seems like the right thing to do. Don't you think? Uh I think so. Um, let's look up the shockwave and see what it costs real quick. I'll just add this up as I'm going along, and then I don't have to keep <laughs> doing it. The shockwave is four dollars and sixty nine cents. So that's uh, and they only have one pack of those, which I guess is good since they've got no way to rig it. Uh, let me go ahead and put in the. Catterbait Elite, and uh, see see what it costs. It's probably around seven or eight bucks, I would think. Um, Chatterbait Mini, Micro, Freedom, Original, Cross Size, Weedless, Elite, seven ninety nine. Yep, eight bucks basically. Uh, then we've got uh, the 48, <laughs> two packs of the 48. And the 48 is, it's a weightless bait. It's a bait that you could fit, you would normally fish wacky style. This color is called June Bug. Of course, I love me some June Bug. And as you can see, uh, the 48 has kind of both ends are kind of a little more bulbous, if you will. And they got a skinny center section. And uh, you just wacky rig this, the 48. The 48 is a nice worm. It's got good action. And I've never been unhappy with Missile Bait's colors. To me, this is a very fine rendition of June bug. Look there. What's that say? Something here. Push here. What does that say? It says rig here. Wow. In case you don't know that a wacky worm hook goes in the center like that, they even print the words for you. Rig here. And it also says the 48 underneath it. Anyway, that's the June bug. Uh, that's one of Debo's best baits of 2021. That's nice too, I uh, hear. All right. And then the other 48 is just plain old green pumpkin. So I'm not going to take it out of the package, but you can see they have, have a nice green pumpkin as well. So let me look up the price of the 48 and get it added to my my tally real quick <laughs> the 48 is five dollars and 69 cents per pack all right we're up to 24 dollars for this 50 dollar pond kit 
But never fear. I haven't figured out the hooks yet. Oh, by the way, you can use this hook as a wacky rig hook. I would say some people would be fine with this hook to wacky rig, and some of you guys would say, that's not a wacky hook I use. But some guys swear by the bigger hooks for wacky rigging. All right, and then we got two packs of quivers, a four and a half inch sunfish IPA, and a six and a half inch green pumpkin flash. I'll show you those colors. Uh, here's your green pumpkin flash, which again, I like. I uh, like, Let's see if we'll get her to, so you can see some of that. There it is. Look at that gold and black. Not just plain, boring green pumpkin. It's green pumpkin flash. <clears throat> Um, and <clears throat> the Sunfish IPA, which is a very nice color as well. We saw that on another, it's a laminate. It's more of a chartreuse on this side and kind of a natural color on that side. <clears throat> All right. So let me go back to the calculator <clears throat> and add the quivers. And uh, they are $4.69 each. Doesn't matter which length you get. Same price. All right. And let's be sure to add the Nico, the Nico weights. Huh. He's a, he's a long way off from $50 so far. It's going to have to, it's going to have to pull up, pull out all the stops here to, uh, get anywhere close. Nico waits. Uh, I'm going to say it looks like two ninety nine. Yeah. $2 and 99 cents. And then, uh, these, G finesse tournament grade hooks are actually pretty pricey. They're very nice hooks. All of the Gamagatsu G finesse hooks are very nice. And wait a minute, that's a 25 pack. I can't have a 25 pack. Uh, <laughs> a 25 pack of these things is only is only. What size are these? Size one, only six ninety nine for twenty five of them. That's uh, there's only six in here. So let me see if I can find a six pack. Don't see one. So I do know how to do this. Uh, six forty three. I have to do more math, which is never, you know, never a good thing really but if we take the old 699 divide it by 25 that gives us 27 cents per hook times six hooks gives us a dollar 62 that we can add to 36.43 and you get a whopping 38 dollars and five cents worth of product in the pond fishing kit what? <laughs> Once again, you're paying $11 for the card. And at that price, I probably should show it to you again. This is an $11 card, boys and girls. Uh, it does have some good stuff printed on it. What up, Jared? No O-rings, Steve. WTF, no O-rings, you're right, for the pond fishing kit. Uh, you've got worms that you could Nico rig, you got worms that you could wacky rig, and they don't give you any O-rings. 
How about an O-ring tool? You could have thrown an O-ring tool in there. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm going back to the picture of what they have. They definitely only have five packs of baits. They definitely only have one pack of hooks, one pack of nail weights, one chatter bait, and one missile bait sticker. And, of course, don't forget the $11 pond fishing kit card. <laughs> Wowza. Woo! <laughs> Oh, holy moly. Uh, that was crazy. So, unofficial poll here. How many of you would run out and buy one of these fishing kits today for only $49.99 plus shipping? Wow. Man, so you're telling me to take them out of my cart on the missile site. Fat guy, run, run. Now, I don't feel as bad because I got these on a deal at Christmas time. So I've had these a year now. And I got all three of them for like 35 bucks each or 30 bucks each or something. So I actually got them for, for much less, but... I cannot believe they are charging 49 bucks for this thing. Even the flipping kit, which we said was what? It's $55 if you really think a trash bomb is worth, worth $10 each. I, I, I wouldn't do that. Uh, if I'm going to drop $50, I'm at least going to pick out. You could say you could buy two flipping weights for half that price. Easy. And then you'd have extra money to buy more baits. So I'm I'm really <laughs> holy moly. That was that's nuts. Uh nuts. Uh that's all I can say about that. <clears throat> so my recommendation if you're gonna buy a fishing kit, go get this. <clears throat> go get this one. Or go get uh, even the Guggen kits. They're way better than that, man. Too bad because the Missile Baits products are great. There's literally, you cannot say anything bad about their product, the soft plastics. But just go buy the soft plastics separate. Don't, don't buy a kit. Okay, the pond fishing kit is completely, is completely intact. So we may as well give this one away, though to some lucky winner because $50 is a bad deal, but free is a great deal. So in order to do this, uh, type in, uh, type in, uh, let me, let me create one of these things here to show you. Type in pound pond. In the comments, if you would like a chance to win this, if you'd like a chance to win the Pond Fishing Kit by John Cruz, type in Pound Pond. We'll let that go for a few minutes, <coughs> and then I will, I will do the drawing. I think I figured out how to do it now so you guys can see it, and, uh, and, uh, It should work here. So just help yourself. Type in if you want to win it. Obviously, if you don't want to win it, then uh, don't put it in. And I will do you the favor of not sending it to you. All right, let me uh, talk a little bit about tomorrow night. I'm doing a show tomorrow night. I am doing, uh, man, I got so many of these planned that I completely lose my train of thought on what I'm doing next. But I am doing, oh, I'm doing the best baits of 2021 tomorrow on the show. That should be fun. 
my favorite baits for 2021. That's what we're going to be doing. I'll be giving a few products away, a few Mr. Bass boxes or something. And then <laughs> Saturday night on the Spin to Win show, I am going to be giving away, uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing comparison. I'm going to compare the Elite with the Pro Mystery Tackle Box. Elite Pro. I'm going to be comparing those. And then we'll give one of those away as well for fun on the as part of the Spin to Win show on Saturday night. But tomorrow, I'm pretty excited because I love talking about baits and I, I'm going to have a fun time talking about my favorite lures of 2021. Now, tomorrow's show is going to be later. I think it's scheduled for like... Uh, well, you have to look at the, I'll be posting, I think 8.30 tomorrow night, because I wanted to try to avoid some of Gramps' show, because I know you guys like to watch Fishing with Gramps, he's got a great show, and, uh, <laughs> and we'll go from there. All right, let's see who won, oh, I better share my screen here first, right? Uh... I think I can do this now without tripping all over myself. Uh, is this it? Yeah, that's it. Let's see here. All right. You should be able to see that. Pond. And now we will... We will draw and see who the winner is. <coughs> Of the Missile Baits Pond Fishing Kit. B. D. G. You are the winner. Now, can you guys see it? Let's see if you guys could see it. Ah, you did get to see it. Congratulations, B. D. G. You have won the Missile Baits. Missile Baits Pond Fishing Kit. Yeah, baby. So how do you collect your prize? You go to Instagram and you send me a DM. At Mr. Bass TV is my Instagram <coughs> account. And if you send me a DM with your name, your address, and mention that you are B. DG and that you won the pond fishing kit and I will ship it out to you. If you do not have Instagram, what's wrong with you? No, seriously. You can send me an email, Mr. Bass TV at protonmail.com. And uh, I will uh, give me the same information and I will get it to you. So, congratulations. Uh, I will scrounge around and maybe find... I'll, I'll tell you what I might do just for fun. I might make a Mr. Bass Tokyo Rig kit and a Mr. Bass Flipping kit and give those away at a later time. Uh, all right, I'm not going to go super late tonight, but I will give away another Mr. Bass kit while... A Mr. Bass box, not a kit. What are you talking about? Mr. Bass box. This one feels... <laughs> Let me turn the screen share off here so you can see me. This one feels kind of... Uh, feels a little light. I may have to look in here and make sure I'm not pulling a uh, missile baits on you and trying to give you... Uh, nothing. Oh, this isn't bad. This one is, uh, the $29 value, $29 and 14 cents. But, uh, it's not, uh, it's got some good stuff in here. 
So we'll give away this Mr. Bass box. Uh, it has the priceless Mr. Bass sticker in it. It has a 10,000 fish head hunter. This color is carbon crappie. It has the one and only, hopefully Steve Chapman's still in the house, the one and only Robo Worm. This is a special color. Not many people probably have used this color. It's called Salt River Craw, and I got a whole stash of these that I use. I really like them. I like this color. It's a special color. All right, now thanks to... The amazing Six Cent Suck Sack. I also have a pack of Ned Fries in the Oxblood color here in this package. And speaking of River to Sea, I don't know if you guys have ever tried these, seen these. These are old school. I don't think you can get these anymore. But this is called the Touchdown River to Sea football jig it's living rubber three quarter ounce this color is um it's a purple i was i was hoping it was printed on here because it's like a it's hard to see but it's got a it's got purple in the skirt and on the bottom of the head see that And then, of course, my favorite jig, the Jewel Bates Pro Spider Jig, a two-pack, seven-sixteenths of an ounce, black and blue flash. <laughs> so that is the contents of the amazing Mr. Bass box that can be yours if the price is right. No, no, that's a different show. Uh, it can be yours if... You just do this easy, silly thing that they do on StreamYard where you don't even have to answer a question. You just put in this uh, secret word that uh, Gramps taught me how to do. Uh, the secret word, I will put this on the screen as well. The secret word in order to win a Mr. Bass box is... Mr. Bass Box, if you would like to win this Mr. Bass Box, all you have to do is, one, watch the show, and two, enter that word with the pound sign, Mr. Bass Box, and we will randomly draw to see if you win. Hey, that's a good idea, Julie. Maybe I'll do that. I'll start having... You guess the value of the Mr. Bass box. And uh, that's a good deal. We'll do that on uh, Saturday night. Remind me, Julie, if you're around. If you're not, somebody else will. Because I may forget it by then. But that would be fun. Guess the value, because every one of these is different. I've actually got some Mr. Bass boxes that are close to $60 in value. And the cheapest one's probably 25. <coughs> so some are better than others. Just like fishing. Some days suck, some days don't. The Mr. Bass box never sucks because it has the amazing Mr. Bass sticker in it. But it uh some of them are a little better than others. Okay, so tomorrow night's gonna be fun and uh, tomorrow night, be prepared. I want you to share with me what your favorite bait was of 2021. I'm going to want to have your input because I might learn some stuff from you guys, as I always do. There may be a killer bait you guys were slaying them on this year that I never even threw. <laughs> In fact, I didn't throw hardly any missile baits. And I think that's going to be fun, too, because you will see what's not in my top baits for the year. 
and you will also see, uh, you know, I will tell you if I did not throw that bait at all for the whole year, depending upon what you throw that. So that should be fun. Um, all right. looks like everybody has pretty much entered. So let me go back to that tool and draw. All right. Streamyard.com giveaway. Go to. <laughs> oh, here's another thing. Uh, I got my. Um, Dark Horse Tackle Box. Got my Dark Horse Tackle Box in today. So I've got to do an unboxing of that. And I don't know when I'm going to do it. I will probably... I'll probably try to squeeze it in on Saturday, maybe in the afternoon, uh, is when I'll probably do the Dark Horse Tackle. So if you'd like to see the dark horse tackle uh box unboxing that's probably when i'm going to do it if you can't be there live you can always you can always watch it later all right i'm sharing the screen now so we can see who wins the mr bass box um is this it yeah here it is all right, here it is. Let me make sure you can see it. Yes, you can see it. There we go. Who's it going to be? <clears throat> Shannon Kirby. I know that guy. Congratulations, Shannon Kirby. You have won. Hey, Mr. Bass Box. And the other two guys that won Mr. Bass Boxes last night, I will ship them out quickly. I realized I have one problem, and that is I can't remember which box each of you won. I've got them sitting here, but I don't know whose is whose. So <laughs> I will try to figure that out uh, and get it shipped out to you right away. Carol would be the perfect guest for The Price is Right. Probably would be. Uh, all right, congratulations. That's all the free stuff I'm giving away, so probably half of you will drop off the show now since that's the only reason you watch. But those of you that like to just hear a lot of BS about fishing with uh, no real coherent thought, uh, you're my peeps that will stay on forever, and I appreciate you guys a lot. Please smash that like button. Share the videos with your friends and your enemies. Maybe there's someone out there that you think would really hate my show. Send it to them and see if you're right. That would be fantastic to find out. Uh, <laughs> Corey, I love incoherent thoughts. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well. Thanks, everybody, for hopping on, and uh, hope you guys have a great night. And uh, like Gramps said, turn into his show tomorrow night, 7 p.m. He, uh, he gives a lot of stuff away. He's always talking about tackle. And it should be a good one. Uh, thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Happy fishing. Thanks again for watching and hitting that like button. I appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.